Hello there, I'm Iris, this is Beauty Bee, and today we're doing a mostly first to maybe fifth or sixth impressions on some new makeup I've got. I realized that it was time to switch out some staples, think my mascara, and then I just accumulated basically a full face of newish makeup over the past few weeks, so I thought we'd just show it off, see how some things work out, and have some fun while doing it. So, I am starting with the product that I've probably used the most, and this is from Laura Geller. It is their Bake, Balance, and Brighten in Porcelain. It's their baked foundation, and I'm going to be applying this just using this little MAC puff. I like to use this over the areas that are really deep or really discolored and then I will use something that applies a little less product probably a kabuki brush to the rest of my face and just to make sure that this is nicely blended out I am wearing a little bit of primer I'm using the professional hydrate primer I intended to put that on during this video as well, but I just kind of got going with my routine, was doing my skincare, and then forgot to stop and pull out my camera. So that is the portion that I'll be using with that MAC puff. I will be putting it this powder over the rest of my face with this Anju Kabuki brush. I've had this forever. This is like an Amazon brand or, you know, one of the cheap brush brands that sells on Amazon. Which, gotta say, cheap brush brands that sell on Amazon have worked out pretty well for me over the years. I definitely bought my first set of brushes off of Amazon and it was like, like a Kabuki set. In college and I don't know that I have any of those left they lasted pretty well for me but then you know after I think like four years they just kind of fell apart and I've had these for I think four or five years and they're generally doing okay not the point of this video but you know what are these videos if we're not going off on a few tangents here and there. I think next I'm going to give this blush a try. I actually have two of these blushes. These are from Etude and I have the shade in Peach Shoe Wafers which is light. I was just swatching this on my hand yesterday and they did say in the listing that this was recommended for pale skin tones and I heard and understood that but it still kind of surprised me at just how light that was though I will I've got to say this one I did not directly choose they had a buy one get one deal on yes style and the one that I picked was the shade lavender lemon macaron look like this. This one has a tiny bit more color to it, but they're both really quite light. There are those two. That almost looks like some people could use it as a brightening powder. Crazy. But anyway, these come with a little puff, and I'm going to at least try to use the puff. We'll see how this works out. So, the puff. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's really pretty, actually. Okay. I had my doubts, but. Okay. I understand. I'm sorry for doubting you, Etude House, or just Etude, I think. get a lot of color out of that actually. 
That's pretty. I don't want to show any self-control with this. I just want to go in. And the puff is a nice size too. I feel like that really does distribute the right amount of product over the right size area. It's very cool. I might have to give the puff a go with some of my other blushes. Though, I've got to say, if it gave me that much color from this shade, from this peach shoot shade, I don't know how clownish I would end up using it with some other shades. But okay, so that worked out actually better than expected, which is always exciting. Next, I think we're going to work on this Teddy Girl palette from Butter London. It tells me that I'm looking good, darling. So we always appreciate that. I'm going to start though with some eyeshadow primer. Ooh, lots of eyeshadow primer. I don't have a new one for this. This is just my usual Milani. really liking that blush. Also, I'm sorry if I if I hit the table. Does that knocked you guys all over the place? Okay. You know what? Let's use this Pippa shade to set down my eyeshadow primer rather than bring out my Canvas or Project Pan shade. That's a pretty shade. I like that. I like that. That it's lighter than what I have been using. Cool. I need to put it a little bit higher. found a little bit of my um, <laughs> my professional that I hadn't blended in. So I'm thinking that I should really stop hitting my table, first of all. But I'm thinking I might try to focus on the iris shade, which is this shimmery pink. I feel like that would go better with what I have on today than much of this palette would. But I'm also going to use a little bit of Matilda in my crease. And then I think I'll build out my outer corner with Ella, which is the brown. So let's start with Matilda. I'm going to just take that on my small crease brush from e.l.f. I have not used this shade yet, so I want to be just a little bit careful with it. Sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time transitioning from these more orangey shades into my skin tone, but this seems to be going on pretty nicely. I don't think I'm going to have any problems with this. Okay, I could have not taken that so far in, but I don't... I don't dislike it. I think it looks kind of pretty. And then I did the same thing on the other side because you know, that's the way how to keep your look symmetric is make the same mistake on both sides and then fix it in the same way. Bad makeup pro tip here. All right. So 
actually let's apply a little bit of glitter glue i have used all of these shades or at least the metallic shades without glitter glue in the past and they've been okay but i just want to see how bold i can go with some glitter glue so i just have a little bit of the nyx glitter primer i'm gonna put that all over my lid and then we'll go in with iris all right so there's iris it is a pink shade with a lot of gold to it wow it almost pulled more peachy on my lid which i can't say that i prefer in general but i think we'll actually be really pretty with this look and i do like how a more peachy shade brings out my eyes so i need to just get over my weird orange thing okay there really isn't a shade that i want to use in my inner corner in this palette which i feel is a real downside of this palette i don't know that there are too many shades that anyone would want to use in their inner corner anyway i'm going to go into ella which is the brown in this palette that's not the brush i wanted i'm going to go in with ella on this little crease brush it looks like this has let me actually swatch it it looks like this might have okay it's it's softer than i thought it might be i thought that it might show up as a little bit of a duochrome but no worries I guess that people don't really worry about putting on duochromes, but I thought it might be one of those blue brown or Mac club types of colors, you know, baby's first duochrome. These are going insane out there. Okay. That's not giving me as much dimension as I want, so I think I'm gonna try Beatrice, which is this deep reddish brown. And still not at the point where I would ideally be but I think I'm gonna start getting muddiness if I just keep adding more color so we're just gonna we're gonna call it good for right now though I am going to add a little bit more of Beatrice under my lower lash line same brush and everything So I have a clean blending brush and I'm just going to go over all of my edges, get that a little more uniform, a little bit more blended, and I don't know, it's not my favorite eye look that I've ever done, but I think it's pretty. And let's see if I can find a gold somewhere. So much eyeshadow. Why am I having a hard time with this? There's so much sitting in front of me. There's a gold in here. Um, we're going to go into my ColourPop Cabana Club palette and take this shade Lemon, which is this lighter, more yellowy gold. Or, well, I guess it's actually slightly deeper, but it's more yellowy. I'm going to stick that in my inner corner. 
I like that a lot more now. Not sure I was really feeling the basically monochromatic peachy look. So I think that is it for eyeshadow. Now I'm going to do my brows really quickly. I say really quickly as though I know where my brow step is. This is actually the opposite of a new product. I'm probably within a week of finishing this thing off. But you know what? I'm excited because I just want to have some decent empties for the month of March. My February empties was really sad. And I know I'm making good progress towards that goal because I feel like I have four or five empties already, including like two full-size products which I don't know that I had any in my last month's empties video. And it's not even March 1st since filming this. It's February 26th or 27th. So, let's open that up just a little bit. And I think we are good to go there. Next up, I do have a new mascara. I decided it was time to open a second mascara. I have been using this YSL one consistently over the past week or so. Um, I decided that it was time to toss out my It Cosmetics one that I'd been using in tandem with this. And this is a really nice mascara, but it is a very large brush. It's a little bit hard to maneuver. And this does not give a subtle look. This gives a lot of lash. And while I do like that a lot of the time, I find that sometimes I, it's a little bit too much. It can be a little bit too clumpy. And I find it very difficult to use on the lower lash line. So I'm hoping that this Rare Beauty mascara I don't know that there's another name for this. If there is, I will try to put it up on the screen. I'm hoping this Rare Beauty mascara will fill some of the gaps for me. So there's what that brush is looking like. I kind of thought it would be thinner based on the packaging, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. First impressions, it seems to be nice. I feel like you really don't know with mascara, especially until after a few weeks when it starts to dry out, but I'm pretty happy with this. That was a there was a clump there, but I think that was probably me not scraping off as well. I think this is too wet to use on my lower lash line right now, but I don't need to wear lower lash line mascara every day. So that's good. Um, shall we do some lips? Let's, let's give that a go. I have three never been worn lip products. First is the other item from my little Yes Style haul. This is from I'm Mimi, and this is their mystery lip tint, and I believe it's called Mysterious Rose, so I will check that. And it is a matte liquid lip. I didn't notice the scent on this yesterday. I don't know what that smells like. It's some kind of candy. It smells actually really good, but this stained my hand yesterday when I swatched this. Um, and I've probably washed my hands like six or seven times since. 
So I'm not going to try this on. I don't think that it really goes with the rest of my look today. Instead, let's try out this Jason Wu Honey Fluff liquid lip, which is actually a really similar idea. These are both kind of like the, what's the NYX soft matte lip creams, which I loved back in the day. That's pretty. I like that shade a lot. I think it might be a little bit too brown for what I have going on today, but I'll let that set down a little bit and we'll see if I can adjust it just a little bit with some kind of gloss. I think that'll be pretty. And let's turn to the rest of my face. I'm not sure that I want any bronzer today because I actually really like the complexion. I love that blush so much. I hope it wears really well because I think that's gorgeous. A little bit of transfer, but not a lot. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to try using this Tarte Sea Gloss over it. This would be in the shade Villa. So just put a little bit. It. Okay, very good. I do want a little bit of highlight. I think that would help matters. So, any chance that I put that red in that I thought I had? I'm so all over the place today. We're going to use this Pacifica duo. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that gold. run it right along my cheekbone and I think that that should bring us to the end of the look. I am really happy with how this turned out. I don't know that I will be doing this exact eye combination again though I think that the gold really did help matters. This is just a little bit too peachy orangey for my taste most of the time though I am wearing my shirt does have quite a bit of peach or orange to it, so naturally there's there's more lower down that you can't really see. So it at least goes with my outfit today. The mascara is looking really pretty. It's definitely on the wet side, but I'm guessing that over the next couple of weeks it'll dry down. I'm really interested to see how this works for me about a month from now. I feel like that might be really great. The blush, I mean, we've talked about the blush, it is stunning. I am so, so happy with that. Um, I actually really like the powder as well. I feel like that's done a nice job of evening out my skin a little bit. My skin does not look good without makeup right now, but I think it's actually looking a little on the dry side, but quite nice overall with that on top, which I have setting spray. Let's use a little bit of that and see if that helps. It's the coconut one from e.l.f. So it's, even if it didn't help, it was delightful to just spritz on. Yeah, that got rid of some of the powderiness. I know she's still a little bit cakey right around my nose, but warm that up a little bit and I think it's looking okay. The lips are pretty. I really like this combo. I think that I could get get away with using the Honey Fluff by itself with a lot of looks. I just thought that with what I had going on on the rest of my face I could use a little bit of shade adjustment with the gloss and you know, everything else I've used before but I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of these products, um, 
feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer. And I really hope that you will consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed. I'm looking forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!